We are, are good. You guys, are you guys hearing me? We are all hearing you, sir. Uh -huh. Clearly. Uh -huh. Yes. yes uh, you, sir. Guys are, you guys are welcome. Uh, welcome. I can see. I, I sent the link to a lot of people. I good, sent the good, link good. to a lot of people. And um, I can see some of them here. The one mm -hmm. I can recognize, I can see them here. Uh, I can so, see Magdalene there too. Yeah, I can see. Uh, oh, what is she with? Uh, I can see Abim Bola. You know, yeah. she actually is watching from Nigeria. Yeah. Watching from Nigeria. You know, I can see Grace. I don't know who is Grace, but I just know you guys are all welcome. Today is going to be dangerful. Seriously, <laughs> today is you know when danger is full, they call it dangerful. So that is when, <laughs> when danger is full, they call it dangerful. Hallelujah! God bless you. Those of you watching from Nigeria, the Lord will continue to increase you. Those of you watching from Winnipeg, any part of the world, UK, Zimbabwe, I sent to Zimbabwe. All of you watching from Zimbabwe, God will continue to increase you in the name of Jesus. Those of you watching anywhere, Mission House, I am a son of this house. That tell it, I could can you would do so. And rather than go back, Iga, 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 Let me calm down. I need to calm down a little bit because my head is hot. Cassite. I I was at the washroom yesterday. Or just because I take my phone to the washroom and I'll just sit it. Try to listen to messages and songs, you know, as the Lord is helping me in the washroom and just kind of, you know, when you're doing the natural thing, you'll be hearing the word of God. Those things can help you out, you know. Then God asked me, what language was I speaking with Adam in the garden? It, it, it just got done on me. What language? What was the language of God? What is the language of heaven? What are they speaking? What kind of language are, are they speaking in English? Are they speaking English? Or what are they speaking Spanish or German? What language did anybody sit down to ask? What how was the language communication with God and Adam and God and the angels? What what kind of what is the language in heaven? Did you ask yourself? Help me that no no. I could tell you, I go braden a hitter. I tune, tune, tune. Tana simple. Oh, you, you speak English and you feel okay, God understands what you're saying. You speak uh, your dialect and you feel God, you know, my mom prayed in her, in her dialect and then I believe everybody listen, everybody here. So you tell me that God hears those ones, but you could have asked yourself, when God used to come and visit Adam in the garden, what, what kind of language is he talking to him? Is he speaking Hebrew, Aramaic, Latin, German, or what? What was he saying? What was the mode of communication? It was a speech they were talking. When he said, Adam, Adam, where are you? It was not English he spoke. What did he say? Atata, Nesu, Antru, Agabala, Sinele, Ingradati. Hey, Ato, Pepe, Penda, Sufetina, Andrutina, Govrundo, Diata. This is, <laughs> God have mercy. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. <laughs> Apostle Paul, I've said it. <laughs> My name is Matthew Kasim. I'm the born servant of Christ on grace, for Grace Embassy. And by the grace of God, Apostle Paul has been the one, one of the people encouraging me in this city. Since we started, he has been the touchlight 
the flashlight that God has been using to encourage me. And then let's go along. And I want to thank every Grace Embassy faithful that connects to this ministry. This is our sister's ministry. They asked me a question in uh, uh, Service Canada that will you welcome other people, other religion, other people to your, to your religion? I said, as long as we believe in the same faith, we believe in the same God, they are welcome. Even if they don't even believe, let them come. By the time I preach John 3, 16, they will believe. That's all. That's not my business. I was sharing tracks uh, on, on Pembina, uh, sorry, Polish Avenue. And somebody said, ah, hey, I'm an LGBT community. I said, come, come, come. That's not my business. Come. But if you like, you'll be alphabet. Come. By the time I finish John 3, 16, you will have identity of your life. That's why you're sure. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I thank you all of you, uh, Apostle Paul. Thank you for this opportunity. I don't make light of it. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you so much. Today is, is dangerful. Today is going to be brutal. So everybody gets ready because you are going to be hearing some shocking information from the same scripture you have been reading before. The same scripture you are going to be hearing shocking information. Those information will take you to the next level of your life. Seriously. Because this is deliverance service. The first thing you need to know is the deliverance is a position, a change of position. So it is not because you are delivered, then your skin color will change, then you start looking like a white person. No, 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 you start looking like a black person. No, no, no. It's a change of position and then change of territory. Abba, okay. Change of territory. So by the time God visits you, he will change your position. God doesn't visit any man and leave the man in the same position he came to meet the person. No, sir. He doesn't. Even when the gathering, men, the demons saw Jesus. By the time the man life turned around, the Bible says he sat down at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus sent him home to go and be uh, telling people about, about, about what happened. No man remained the same. No man remained the same. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's jump into the Bible quickly. Let's jump into the Bible. This is free indeed. You are free indeed. In the name of Jesus. Let's jump into the Bible. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. John chapter 8, verse 31 to 32. And that's it, chapter 8, verse 35 to 36. Bye. Keep on shouting him on Zafrati. John chapter 8. I'm going to be reading King James Version. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believe on him, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciple indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. When you continue in my word, then the world will expose itself where you will see the truth behind the word that you continue with. And the truth that you know will make you. The truth that you know will rearrange your mortal being and your spirit man. <laughs> By the time he rearranges you, then you will be free. Now let's go to John chapter 8, 35 to 36. Let's hit it there. And the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Ye shall be free indeed. Abba, Suta, let us pray. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for as heaven is about to kiss the earth. We thank you for the open vision that you are going to show to someone now. We thank you for the deliverance that everyone here will take home. We thank you for the people that will be set free. We thank you for as many that are listening to this information today. Their life will never remain the same. 
let the spirit of God brew in this meeting that at the end of the day, everyone here will have a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Use my mouth, use my brain, use every part of me as a pen of the ready writer to disseminate your information. And at the end of the day, our glory will be to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Are you still there? Are you still there? Our theme for today is free indeed. Free indeed. I just gave you the foundation scripture concerning free indeed. For the Bible says, if you abide in my word, ye are my disciples. He said, if you abide in my word, ye are my disciples. And then he said, if you know the truth, and ye shall know the truth inside the word, and that truth shall set you free. The first deliverance is truth that you know. Not all truth sets people free. It is the one you know that will set you free. <laughs> Because to every word that you read from the scripture, there is a revelation from that word that is meant for a particular situation. So God will bring a situation for you to get a revelation from it so that you can get a solution from the situation. So it is not all the word that you study from the scripture that brings you revelation. It is the one that is meant for you. That is where you know that truth and the truth will set you free. Everybody can quote John 3, 16, but it is meant for people who see the truth in the world and they are free. Now the Bible says that if the son of man set you free, ye shall be free indeed. Where did Jesus get that information? According to the Jewish law or the Roman law, sorry, the Roman law, according to the Roman law, because then the Jewish people were under the Romans. If a king adopts you as a slave, if a king adopts you as a slave, you will be with that king until the death of the king, if you are still alive, actually, until the death of the king. Now, the son of the king who will be the heir of the throne has the right to set you free from being a slave. That is the Roman empire. That is the Roman rules of tradition. So Jesus was speaking based on that. And that is why he said that the Sabbath doesn't remain in the house forever, but the son remains. So if the son sets you free, that means whoever you have been a slave to, <laughs> whoever you have been a slave to, because the son has taken position as the heir apparent of the throne. The Bible says, if the son shall set you free, the one that is now in charge of the situation, the son who is now in position, he said, if you shall set you free, ye shall be free indeed according to the tradition. So Jesus borrowed that information from the Roman Empire so that he will be able to pass the information to the people that are listening. That means there have been under a tyrant leadership that have held them down as slaves. But now a son has emerged. Ah, uh, Let me calm down. My body is so hot. Let me calm down. There are two types of freedom you should get from that passage. There is freedom from and there is freedom to. The freedom from and freedom to, according to that passage, like I gave you the illustration why Jesus used that word, if the son of man, 
Because why? The father, the king, has taken possession, but now the son has the right to set the, the slave free. So freedom from what? <laughs> freedom from slavery. Freedom from bondage. Freedom from things that have held you down. Freedom from perpetual sickness. Freedom from near miss. Freedom from nearly to achieve it. Freedom from demonic oppression. Freedom from seduction spirit. Freedom from struggling with sin. Freedom from whatever that have held you down and make you know to express your giving deity, your giving power, your giving expression and destiny that God has placed in your life. Freedom from what? <laughs> Freedom from penalty of sin. Freedom from whatever that's supposed to kill you. But I prophesy as the Lord has commanded me that today you are free indeed in the name of Jesus. Oh, let me drive it home a little, a little bit. We are getting, this is deliverance. I told you the first deliverance you need to know is the truth. And I'm pushing the truth into your mindset now so that you will understand what the scripture is saying concerning where you find yourself. Freedom from financial stagnation. Freedom from struggling and suffering. Freedom from labor. You are free indeed in the name of Jesus. You are free indeed. So that is freedom from. Now, the second part of freedom is freedom to. That means freedom to live the right life or the normal life you are supposed to live as a child of God. It is an error for a child of God to be stagnated. It is an error for a child of God to be going through struggle. They will ask you, where is your God? You have been old and yet you are not married. You have been married for some years and yet there are no children. You have been sick, going to the hospital and coming out as if God cannot heal the disease. You have been going through pains in your life. Your family have been going through struggle. There is fighting, quarreling, disunity, and disfranchisement in your life. Your business, you set up your business, but yet nothing is happening. But friends, I come to tell you, by the mandate that is upon my life, that God has set you free indeed. That from today, you are free to live a life that God has proposed for your life. In the name of Jesus. Calm down. I'm hearing some things, so I'm taking it a little bit. I'm hearing some things. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing. I'm hearing. Somebody who started a business and the business is not moving and you, are feel, you feel like closing the business. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing it now. Don't worry. We'll get to your, we'll get to your tongue. We'll get to your place. Don't worry. We'll get to it. I'm about to get to another level that you should understand. <laughs> Freedom. You are free indeed. Do you know that some people are in, they are not in their village, but there are still some demonic entity that serve as ancestral spirits that are still tormenting their life. Do you know that? Okay, let me shock you. I will shock you now. Let's go to Genesis chapter 24 from verse 5 to 7. Let's go to Genesis 24, 5 to 7. I will shock you, Diana. Watch. <laughs> I'm going to read New Living Translation. I will shock you there. We are going to pray very soon. No, we are going to pray. Get ready for me. We are going to pray. Are you ready? Genesis chapter 24. I will shock you now. Watch. The Bible says, then the, the story goes where Abraham wanted the servant to go and get a wife for him, for Isaac. And he told him to go to his, his father's house, get everybody, a, I mean, get a wife for him and bring the wife down. And then this is what the servant said. The servant asked, but what if I can't find a young woman who is willing to travel so far from home? Should I then take Isaac there to live among your relatives in the land you came from? Hey! The man was sent to go and look for a wife. He has a second thought 
that instead of him bringing a wife, he want to take Isaac back to where the father came from. <laughs> the Bible says in verse 6, no, Abraham responded, be careful, never take my son dear. Be careful, never take my son dear. Ah, you guys have not seen this in the Bible before. Eh? You have not read this part of the Bible. Woo, you guys, the Bible says, then verse 7 says, for the Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and my native land, solemnly promised to give this land to my descendant. He will send his angel ahead of you and he will see to it that you find a wife there for my son. Friends, <laughs> are you ready for this shocker? Are you ready for this shocker? Do you know there are people who feel that because you are lost because of where you came from? How do I put it? Let me put it in a way you, you got it. Let me put it in a way. Abraham was looking for how his, his, his son, Isaac, can fulfill destiny, can go to the next level. Because where they are is a place where God has destined for them to be and flourish. We'll get to another fucking place again. Don't worry, let, 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 let's go. Now, Abraham's mindset is the future. Abraham's mindset is the promise of God concerning the future. Abraham's mindset is that my son will take over when I am gone. But there is this servant. <laughs> there is this servant who believe that the progress of the man can be retrograded. Hey, who believe that instead of him to go forward, he need to go backward. <laughs> from what he had been delivered from, from the spirit he had been delivered from, from the demons he had been delivered from, the servant suggested that let's take Isaac back. Anything that want to take you back to the place you are coming from, I command the fire of God to destroy them now in the name of Jesus. Okay, okay. Let's come down. Let's come down. Watch, watch, watch. The wife to Isaac was supposed to give birth to who? Jacob and Esau. But the servant has a different thought. That instead of the woman to come to meet you at your place of destiny, the man need to go back to the place of captivity. Hey! The Bible said, Abraham said, no. Am I speaking to fathers in the house? Am I speaking to custodians of family in the house? Am I speaking to people who ask territorial authority? over their home, over their business, over their life. What is that thing that constitutes to so you going back to where you were delivered from today? Let it catch fire now. In the name of Jesus, let it catch fire now. In the name of Jesus, let it catch fire now. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> are, you, are you catching what I'm saying? The Bible says, Abraham said no. My God has delivered me from my father's house, from my relative, from the land. Do you know why? Abraham's father was a juju priest, was a sangoma, was a voodoo priest. Abraham was supposed to take over from his father. When God saw this, the first thing God did was to make sure that Abraham's father is not more alive. That the moment the father died, God visited and said, Abraham, will you live? You have to leave now. And Abraham knew that if he did not leave, he will not fulfill what God wants him to fulfill. Now, the servant is suggesting that his offspring should go and occupy. Because the moment Isaac goes back to the father's land, he will be the juju priest that Abraham refused to become. <laughs> Whoever that is giving you the wrong assignment. Today, I release fire to destroy them now in the name of Jesus. Let me ask a question. Do you have the element of that thing that God has delivered you from? Because the Bible says, if the son of man set you free, you are free indeed. Free indeed means you have nothing. No charge, nothing, nothing. 
But look at what Abraham's servant did. Oh, you are the man who left the land, but your son should go back. Your son should go back. Am I talking to custodians of family? And then you are seeing something going on in your family. You are seeing something going on in your house. And then you are quiet. The ah, devil is a liar. You tell the devil, no. Go, oh, go, shit. <laughs> somebody is just push. Somebody is pushing my button here. Somebody is pushing my button. Don't push my button. <laughs> hey, good talons, rata. Can I shock you again? Can I shock you? Let me shock you. Now check the book of Genesis to Revelation. Let's start with Abraham. Did Abraham cast out demons? <laughs> you guys are in, to, you are in for it today. <laughs> Did Abraham cast out demons? Did Isaac cast out demons? Did Jacob cast out demons? Did Moses cast out with all the power they gather? So you mean they cannot cast out demons? Hey, something is, something is wrong somewhere. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Maybe Elijah did. Let's go to Elijah. Elijah did that. Eh? He cast out demons. After he killed the prophet of Baal, he killed, those who are human beings, he killed human beings. They are not demons. They are agents. Okay, wait. What about Elisha? Are you guys following what I'm saying? I know some of you are lost now. Just follow me, follow me. There is nobody in the Old Testament that has the authoritative power or the authority to tell the devil, get it behind me. None of them. To the extent, even Prince of Pesha was able to detail an archangel and say, archangel, sit down here. The Bible says he detained. He put him at the back of the cell. He said, sit down here, you're not going anywhere because you entered the wrong territory. He had to bring a man that is higher that covered that territory to come out, set him loose. And the guy was saying, I have to leave now. If not, the prince of Greece is going to catch me here again. He invented the territory that doesn't belong to him. Nobody in the Bible from Genesis to Malachi, even prophet Elijah, um, what do they call this man, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, none of them cast out devils. None. But there's this guy. <laughs> There's this guy, the Bible said when he was playing his, his instrument, the evil spirit from Saul <laughs> disappeared, ran away from him. Now, do you know why that David was the one recorded that his instrument can chase the devil away? Do you know why? Now, let's jump to New Testament. The Bible said when blind Bartimaeus saw Jesus coming, he said, thou son of David. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, was it only David that has the lineage of Jesus? No, sir. Uh -uh. David was instituting the authority that Jesus is supposed to express here on earth when he was alive at the king's palace praying the instrument. Oh, Jesus. Now that is why in Luke chapter 10, Verse 19, he said, look here, look at me, look, look, look. He said, I have given you authority over all powers of the enemy. And you can walk among snakes and scorpions. Crush them. Nothing will injure you. Oh, I'm reading New Living Translation. Nothing will injure you. Can I shock you again? Let's go to Mark, Mark chapter 16, 17 to 18. He said, and this sign shall follow them. This sign shall follow them. It is not only goodness and mercy that will follow us. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. So you must be a believer. In my name shall they cast out devils. Not Elijah. Not Moses. No, 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 no. Not Elisha. Not Joshua, but in the name of Jesus that reside in us, that will believe. He said, we shall cast out devils. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Calm down. Some of you are getting boiling now. Calm, calm down, calm down. Just calm down, calm down. I want you to look into your life. Look for those devils. Look for them. 
I pay my super. Sa, sa, sa. Look for them. I say, today is the last day you ever exist in this family. Hey! <laughs> he said, they shall speak with new tongues. <laughs> Verse 18 says, they shall take up serpents and they shall drink any deadly things. He shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. First, I bring good news to you that today you are free indeed. In the name of Jesus, you are free indeed. In the name of Jesus, you are free indeed. Why? Do you know the Bible did not say at the mention of the name of Jesus? Hey, I know some of you who are watching from Africa now, you'll be watching, how, what is it trying to say? Mm -mm. The Bible did not say at the mention of the name of Jesus. You want me to shock you? I will shock you. Because we are going to pray now. My blood is boiling. We are going to pray now. We are going to pray now. Are you ready? Me in Copolo Zuzuzu Supreti. In Kalaga da 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 da. In Cototo Shake Pretiti. Mazuzuzuzu. La Gara da 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 da. The Bible did not say at the mention of the name of Jesus. You know why he did not say we should mention the name of Jesus? I will show you. Don't worry. <clears throat> I will show you. Hmm. I will show you. Let's go to Philippians chapter 2. Let me shock you there. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. I will show you there now. Oh, Are you ready? Are you ready? We are ready to pray. Philippians chapter 2. Huh. I'll read from verse 9. I'm reading the King James Version. Wherefore God also had highly exalted him, has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every other name. That is the name that Elijah did not have. That is the name that Moses did not have. That is the name that Abraham did not have. That is the name that the people in the world did not have. He said he has given him a name that is above every other name. He said that at the name of, at the name of, at the name of, at the name of, at the name, he didn't say at the mention. Oh, <laughs> at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, and things under the earth. Oh, there are entities under the earth. He said, every knee should bow at the name of Jesus. Why did this at the name of Jesus? It's because by the time you appear, the Bible said, and this sign, hey, hey, <laughs> Gandada, you are carrying a sign. Your appearance is the sign of Jesus in you. Hey! He said, and these signs shall follow them in my name. Hey! Do, do, do. Akute, akute. Adizenzi. Okay. You, you can see now that you don't even need to mention, but you appear in the Lord. You stand carrying the sign of the name of Jesus. By the time you open your mouth to talk, that devil runs away in the name of Jesus. This is the name that the people of the world did not have. That's why Jesus said, Abraham sought to see my days. But today, for as many that believe, I see deliverance coming your way. In the name of Jesus, I see deliverance coming your way. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says at the name, that means you are carrying the name walking around. So it is not you anymore. It is the name of Jesus. So when you appear, the name of Jesus appears. When you talk, the name of Jesus is talking. When you speak, the name of Jesus is speaking. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every entity working against your destiny, working against your life, working against your business, working against your health, that today those things are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, Buzifo. Galasutakuma Angarete. 
I soutenu et soutenu et soutenu. Let me go a little bit so that we can go out of this place. I have a few minutes to go. We can go. Because one of the things I'm hearing in my ear here is that everyone going to struggle. That struggle is over today. In the name of Jesus. Anyone going to struggle by your heart. I can sense the power of God here. Ato, you are feeling pains at the left side of your breast. Bon, bon, and sin and injury. Great, great. I can see something like a hardness there. Uzuza, yeke rata kene zuno me impetande ne anzo. Osho to kaka. Gredene, gredene, gredene. No zoom prete. Asuka, I command it to disappear now. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says. that this sign shall follow. Friends, do you know that the only thing that causes deliverance is when power shifts. <laughs> when power shifts. Sir, are you ready now? Are you guys ready? Because the only thing that can take you out from the hands of the captive is the one that is stronger than the one that have held you captive. The Bible says if the strong man stays in his house, he has possession, he has power over his goose. But the one that is stronger than him, when he comes, it will spoil him. And that's why the Bible says, have these spoiled principalities and powers. He made a public show of them. He triumphed over them. Adaluze ifreto kaluze tiriaka. Ogoto kakune manzate. Besupre takalamba. By the power of the living God. Everyone that is going through the torment of the enemy. To them at the end of it. In the name of Jesus, today mark the end of it. In the name of Jesus, today mark the end of it. In the name of Jesus, I say it ends the day. In the name of Jesus, let me give you a little light. Then we're going to pray. Prayer. <laughs> let me close my iPad. We're going to prayer. Now, do you know that this world is made up of different dimensions? Is made up of different dimensions. Watch me. Now, your this is the, the this is the physical dimension that we are, where you you can see one on one flesh and blood. It's called the physical dimension. There are spiritual dimension, and this dimension are in classes. Now, now the spiritual dimension has more activity than the physical dimension. Follow me. We're getting getting somewhere. I want your eyes to be open to see certain things. Now, the spiritual dimension doesn't lock down. There is no lockdown in the spiritual dimension. Some countries, in, in some countries, takes this same information, and that's why they have 24 hour services in those countries because the spiritual dimension runs in 24 hours. Can I shock you? That is the reason why when you sleep, your physical dimension shuts down but your spiritual dimension is still awake. So this one you call dream is another dimension where your spiritual life is still awakening. It doesn't sleep. Your spiritual life doesn't sleep. It's just like your eye. What you used to see is this black thing you are seeing here. The white one here is not what you used to see. It's the black one. So if you close your eye, they, you only cover this eye, but the one inside, this eyelid only cover it, but the one inside is still awake. <laughs> da, 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 da. So when you sleep, your physical dimension is like your eyelid, it closes. But friends, your eye is still alive because there is nothing, nothing is still alive. So in your dream world, is another dimension where your spirit man operates. Get me. No, don't worry. Just, just get me. 
where your spiritual mind operates. Now, one of the things that happen in the dream world is that spirit converts with spirits. Now, when you have enough information inside of you, it emanates in the spirit world. That's why Ecclesiastes said, dream comes as a multitude of business. It operates in the spirit world. So let me catch you a little bit again. Now, watch me, watch me. Don't, don't worry, don't, don't, get, don't get frightened. Now, one of the problem we have as human is that our spirit world is being controlled by two forces. The force of God and the force of the devil. Now, it all depends on the human, which dimension of spirit is he operating from? Is it from the force of God or the force of the devil? Now, that's the reason why when a man sleeps, he can travel to anywhere in the world in his spiritual life because there is no limitation in his spiritual dimension, which is his dream world. There is no limitation. You don't need a vehicle to travel. You don't need it. When you see yourself flying, look, the witches and wizards, they don't give testimony when they fly. It is a natural and normal thing in that dimension to fly. <laughs> it is normal because there is no vehicle that can take you anywhere there. You fly on that dimension. Now watch this. Now, when the demonic world has enough information to hold your spiritual world down because you don't have understanding of what your spiritual life is supposed to entail they hold your spiritual life captive now that is the reason why they torment you in your dream they deal with you in your dream why because there is no information that's supposed to sustain you in your dream world <laughs> you are pregnant and you start seeing yourself having miscarriage as a result of dream you just had. So people will be doing certain things, but they will just had one dream before you know the thing will scatter. Because why? The demonic entity has power over your dimension of dream world. That is why they can affect it and make it to manifest physically. I told you one time, those of you in a mission house, that God created human beings to be governed by spirit. So every human being you see today is being governed by spirit. That's why you don't need to envy people because you don't know the spirit that is carrying them. So if your dream world is being hijacked in the spiritual, in the demonic world, it will manifest physically. So if you find yourself doing certain things in the dream that you can't do physically, it's because your dream world has been hijacked. And that means in that dimension, you are not a custodian of that dimension. Because in every dimension, you are supposed to be a custodian over that dimension. Because the devil operates in rank. That is why in the in the, uh, in, uh, uh, Ephesians, you see them in rank. We don't wrestle against power, uh, flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. They are in rankies. So that was why when uh, Gabriel was coming, Gabriel came to a wrong territory. Because why? that was not his rank operation. That was not his territory. So those who are in custodian of that territory held him down. So if you are not a custodian of your territory, the devil will mess you up in your dimension, I mean, in the life, in your dream world. So friends, why am I bringing this out? It's because every child of God is a spirit being. And as a spirit being, you are supposed to have dominion in your spiritual life, to operate in the spiritual life to, so that it can manifest in the physical. So that's why when you pray, that's why the Bible says it is the spirit that quickens it. For what? The spirit gives life. The words I speak, they are life. So when you speak every word, it is their spirit and their life. So you create spirit. You emanate spirit in the imagery of the dimension that you operate on as a custodian. Oh my God, am I talking too much? So I am trying to open your eyes so that you understand that the reason why you have been tormented in your dream world is because you have no enough resources to take custodian of your dream world. A, a, a demon will come as a woman and before you know what's happening, you sleep with the woman in your dream world. 
Somebody will come as a man and the man will sleep with you in your dream world. And you are pregnant. Before you know, you have miscarriage. Somebody will tell you that it's a spirit husband. That devil is alive. There is nothing like spirit husband here. It is because you don't know how to take custody or being a custodian of your dream world, then the person will appear and tell you that I'm your husband. Slap that devil out of him. Give the, a dirty slap out of him. It's a demonic entity. There is nothing. He can never marry you for what? Who engaged? Who, how did he, who joined both of you? Who joined both of you? Ah, no, 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 no. You guys don't. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Now, with this understanding, you should understand. That's why the Bible says, I give unto you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. They are not serpent and scorpion snake. If you go and near snake, you're on your, your, your own. But these are entity that governs a particular dimension that affects the progress of our life. So God said, I give you authority over them. He said, so because of that, not only that, not only that, he said, every wash of the devil. There are wash of the devil. That's why Jesus Christ did not come to bind the devil. There is no place in the Bible that says we should bind the devil. So those of you who normally pray, I bind the devil, you are wasting your time. The devil just between, they don't know what they are doing. Lack of knowledge. There is no place. The Bible said, for this purpose, the Son of Man was made manifest to destroy the works. Because God did not give us permission to bind devil. But God gave us permission to destroy his works. To cast him out. So when Jesus Christ came, he was casting them out. What did they say? Did you come to torment us before our time? He said, no, get out of this person. Get out of this person. So what God wants us to do is to destroy the works. Everything. The Bible says when the man planted, the enemy came and sat. And he said, who did he say? The enemy has done this. Enemy has done this. Friends. Oh my God, my time. Friends, are you ready? Are you ready? Abba Suta. And with this eye opener, I need you to abuse Ratoma and Alianta. Every part of your life. As I'm here now, I'm sensing the power of God. It's like I'm the only one in this place. Gelegede, akune manso kaluji di enchi. Ze kokonu do kokonu sa sa sa. Ne prata el koto seba. Is anyone sick? Put your hands on your path. Put it, put it, put it. Anywhere you are sick, put it there because I sense fire here. Olododo, the intro. Wherever you are in your home, in in, in, in your car, park your car now because if power hits you there, you go and go hit another thing. I don't, it's not my fault. Park your car now. Because I can sense the power of God here is coming strongly, strongly, strongly in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you are sick, put your hands there. Now it is time. Ato asa aku baradi asu terina aku man of God. Iataku atata zazi zina kuko agrede or koto kuka gretenite. Nzuna zu atune vre zene kukonu zune vre ato kapala grete kuda shuta le anta ete ete undo 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 akrete ki anta palakate icho tolu sataku grete katu ni sepra leta talu sebrete yangu tu teka tu tere anta in the name of Jesus take it every part of your body that you are sick be healed now in the name of Jesus ah wait 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 I just had Somebody, somebody gave you food in your dream. Since then, you have been sick. Ah, da. <laughs> ah, kata. Somebody, are. I release the power of God upon you. I don't know who you are. You are a lady. Somebody gave you food in your dream, and since then, you have been sick. Today, let the power of God hit you in the name of Jesus. I set that set you free. Every demonic entity walking in your body, I cast them out in the name of Jesus. I cast them out now in the name of Jesus. 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 Now, the name, oh, I'm hearing. Sir Herpata. I told you I'm, I'm hearing so many things. I'm hearing somebody in your workplace, you were just demoted recently. Somebody just, they just lay you, they just brought you from your position to a in, in low position. Why? Because somebody set you up. Today, 
I reverse it. In the name of Jesus, I reverse it. Everything they plan to make you to be people. I brought the the oil upon my life. I join faith with my brother. You are reinstated with a double honor in the name of Jesus. Ah. <laughs> I, I told you, I'm, I'm hearing. Kala, he, you know, Mushipra, Akala Zukalu Abra, I didn't know who she did, Brata Anka, Lushi don't go greet any Inka, Inka. In your family, people are not progressing. Hey, hey, Apa Lisa, he can also break it. Angu Bongo Bongo Po. People are not progressing in your family. And it looks as if it is a normal thing. It is not normal. When you put a toad in a cold water, and you start boiling, you start boiling in the toad to get used to the hot water and eventually die. The Bible says that a woman came to a family and seven brothers died in that family because why she was busy killing them and she herself died. That it is not normal. Jesus can say you are mistaken. You don't know the scripture. You don't know the power of God. First, I come to you today with the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever demonic entity that have held your family down, today I break them now. Every ancestral spirit that the Paluse, the servant of Abraham, was wanted to take Isaac back, today it is destroyed. It is destroyed. It is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> This is deliverance. Oh. This is deliverance. I hope some of you are praying. Uh, this is deliverance. Man of God, this is deliverance. Oh. I can hear in my ear. Yes, sir. Oh, I just had document, delayed document. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Delayed document, that is what I had. Today, I reverse it. In the name of Jesus, I reverse it. Yes. Yes. In total, you will get the testimony now. Now. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Yes. I had chest pain. I had chest pain. Man of God, sir. I had chest pain. Where's the person? Where's the person? Jesus. Jesus. There's somebody that Jesus. normally has sleep paralysis. E I think it is the normal. The old people, uh, sorry, the, 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 the doctor gave his sleep paralysis. E e bro, go, do, but it is demonic entity that are that have e control over your dream world. Mo, go, that are e you. E but today, let ne, the fire of God come upon your life. Ro, now, go, in the name Amen. of Jesus. Now, I Na, join yes. with my brother. I release Aha. fire in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire in the name of the Holy Jesus. Ghost. Fire in the name of Jesus. 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 Fire Yes, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Time while you were ministry, man of God, while you were yeah. ministry, uh, when you were leading this prayer, the Lord said to me that there is somebody here that there is death in the family. Ah, there is death, it moves in the family. When you get to a particular point, it will take somebody. Hmm. When you get to a particular age, it will take somebody. And there is another family, thank you, Holy Spirit. There's another person here, the family is sickness. The sickness is a particular sickness. The thing will be moving in the body at a particular age of their life. And before you know it, their tummy will begin to swell up. They, whenever somebody dies in the family, that tummy will truly swell up. Now, now, the spirit of death and affliction hey. that has entered into I any family here. My day. God, my father, he he we, we come with a combined anointing plus the anointing of other men and women of God in this platform. I decree and I declare right now let every power of death, the spirit of death and affliction, I command your time to expire. I command it to expire. I decree expire, 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 expire in the name of Jesus. Every year, every year they bury somebody. I decree today you will no longer bury anybody any year. It will no longer be a pattern, my God. 
It will not only be a pattern. I know Kosoba, I know Tateli Anama, Zose Keti Anamaka, in the name of Jesus Christ. I just had insanity. Oh my it's God. The family, I had brain disease, insanity. Jesus. It's demonic. Jesus. It's not brain disease, it's demons. Jesus. There are demons walking in the brain. It's not Jesus. brain disease. That ah, devil is a liar. We real at oh, I had, someone is already in the hospital because of it. Oh my god. Oh, if you are the one, just that you are the one. Someone is in the hospital. If he's walking, just let me know. Someone Jesus. is in the hospital with that brain Jesus. disease is demonic. Jesus He's making people not to think well, and they will be okay, in the 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 to today, let the yes. fire of God come down. Amen. Let the fire of God come down. Let the deficit of the devil in their life. In the name of Jesus. Ikada solie ne boko sa. Ye ke te ke te ke si adaba. Robo ke so to lo brede de 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 now, man of God, remember <laughs> when Isaac came to dig the well. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> when Isaac came to dig the well, ah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Bible said that his father dug that same well. Mm -hmm. His father dug the well. Those wells were the source. Thank you. Jacob or Rihanna Makata, Omelia, Kaso, Preke, Shuma, Radie, Kata. They were the source of his father's well. You know Abraham. We know him. He was a pace that I was changing to. When his son came, he he sowed in that same land. He reaped. They allow him to reap. They allow him to sow. They allow him to do everything. He, the man went forward. Oh my God. The man became great. Oh Jesus. He became very great. The Philistines began to envy him. When the envy started, they didn't look for his riches. They didn't look for his, his going forward. They didn't look for uh, sitting great. No, no, no. They went for the well. Uh -huh. They located the well. The well <laughs> was the source. They went to the, the source. The well was the source. They went to the oh. source. Oh, they went to the source. Hey, they went to the say. source where the man, say, that say. When, when, when they block it, he's finished. Oh, yeah, he's, that, ah, that. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Did they, did In the they, name did that they. is above every other name. Powers <laughs> that have gone to the source of your family. Powers <laughs> that have gone to the Powers that have gone to the source, <laughs> to the, to the source um, where you make go, money go, from. Go, go, go. Power that have gone to the source of your Christian fire. Power that have gone to the source of your marriage. Power that have gone to the source of your children. Power of the I command them to cast fire. I command them to cast fire. I command them to cast fire. Power that have gone to the source of your ministry. Power that have gone to the source of mission. Where are you? Cast fire. Cast fire. The Bible says that they went and closed the source. Oh my God. They went and dug another one. They went and closed it again. Oh Jesus. They went and dug another one. They went and closed it again. Oh my God. They went and dug another one. They gave up. Oh my God. They gave up. They said, no, oh my not, God. We're not doing it anymore. He said, we're not doing it. He called the place Rehoboth. Ah! Ah! I command their power to fail them. I command them to be tired. I command the the zeal, the energy, the fire, the tenacity to keep digging, 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 to keep digging. Receive the name of Jesus. 
Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. You will not stop where your father stopped. You will not stop where your husband stopped. You will not stop where your wife stopped. You will not stop where your where your parents stopped. You will not stop where people stop in your family. You will break limits. You will break limits. My God, my God, my God, my God. You will break limits. You will break limits. You will break limits. You will break limits. Jesus Christ. My God, my God. The Bible says mm. that they gave up on him. They gave up. <laughs> they gave up on him. They couldn't close the source. Because oh my the God. man refused to give up. Oh my God. If he has given up, then this chapter will be closed. Hey. But he said, no. He that is in me, Jesus. is greater than he that is in them. Elisha said, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, open your eyes. Open your eyes. that are with us. Hey. Yeah, Peter, the Bible says when the eyes was open, he saw the so fire with horses he around Elisha. But the man bakasha. was standing closer to Elisha. But when his eyes was open, he discovered that he was far from Elisha. Hey. 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 I see, see. I he don't think Everyone that is chasing your destiny. My God, my father. Hey. One that is chasing your destiny. Let so that is breaking his hand in your family. That is da, da, making da. your family to look miserable. Oh my God. That is making them to look as if it's oh God Oh my God. Are you sure oh that this God. is what God wants for us? Jesus. Oh, we just remain this way. I'm I yeah, command the man. element of the earth to favor you in the Le name Kosa. of Jesus. Hey, I command the element of the earth to go against your enemies now. in the name of Jesus. Hey, the man. sun, the moon, the sun, the rain, the the bora break. The bora break. He said the Im star Brokosotoli and the moon fought for us. Yes, that to pass. The air your enemy will bring to be against them in the name of Jesus. The land they will step their foot on will be against them in the name of Jesus. This is how you take custody of your territory. This is how you take custody of your, your of your spiritual dimension. Oh my if you God. are so, see, if you are gentle, you will not settle. Shout out, so you don't pamper what you're supposed to hammer. Hey, you Kuba. don't manage what you're supposed to damage. You it and deal with it. It is not by decree. decree. It is by Dele decree. Neka. Look at it and say, that devil, get out of my house. Come on, In the name of Jesus. I it just it, my brother. And I speak to every life hearing my the sound of my voice. Any area the devil has taken your name to carry you to today marks the end of it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. God talk a lucy breteni mansa. Judo, judo, judo. In kala sata. Man of God. In kala so si preti hita. Bo kapala kitini anta. Jite tete. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mo onkolo boto si preti. Zi, 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 zi. A devil is a liar. A kalo si preti ni manta. La, za, za, za. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalosa preti. Man of God, where are you? I can't find you again. Oh. Where, where did he go? Are they done? Oh my God. It's like, <laughs> oh, network. That devil is a liar. This time, he, the devil knows we have touched, we have touched his head. We have break one part of his horn. If you even have a horn. That's why he went to affect the network. That devil is a liar. I speak to everyone hearing the sound of my voice. Today, mark the last day that the devil will mesmerize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, mark the last day that the devil will make ridicule of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the last day that the devil will come and destroy your life in the name of Jesus. You stand the ground 
to become who you are supposed to be. No devil can change it in the name of Jesus. When they came to the well of Isaac, they were tired. And before you know what is happening, God gave them, gave Isaac rest. I command rest to be on your side today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hakotati anta, rapa. Oh my God. I'm hearing something in my ear. I'm hearing something in my ear. I don't know what is wrong with you, but the, you're having a problem with your stomach. It looks as if it's, uh, I don't know, it's rumbling. But today, let them be healing. Anyone sick hearing the sound of my voice, you are healed already. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say you are healed. Bazu Pratakalasa. Father, we thank you. Where is this man of God? I can't find him again. Let him come, let him come. La suta palaga retete. Zitetete kolozi prete. Mango palosa. We give God praise. We give God praise. My God. Man of God, come, 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 come. Because we need to round up this. This I'm man is hot. Aye, he's back. Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Kata. Jesus. Jesus. Devil, Jesus. Devil is... <laughs> <laughs> he's in trouble. <laughs> this is where you know that this thing is hot. When two lions are in the field, ah, yeah, the animal suffers. Hey. Hey. Hey, Kata. This is where you know that this is hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Mark of you listening to the sound of our voice, e Galu, give your testimony. Give your testimony because I can see testimony. I can see testimony. Do you know? Do you know? We are going to round up now. Do you know Joseph? You know that guy, Joseph? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Everybody thought, thought Joseph. What did he carry? Which money? Which money was with Joseph? Which money? Did he break bank? No. But the day he shared his dream, hmm. from inside his father's parlor, <laughs> huh. that was where anger started. That was where they said no. And they kept chasing him. The coat of many colors. That coat, that coat, that was what they were after. The hmm. Bible said they didn't even care. Their father was crying. Their father was weeping. Oh, what has happened to my son? What has happened to my son? My yeah. son is dead. They didn't care. If the man wants to die of attention, let him die. As far as they are concerned, they want to silence him. Hmm. And the brethren said, we shall see. Uh, this statement, eh? hmm. we what, will see become of, what, will become. what will become of his dreams? Hey! hey. We shall see. Hey, he come from his, his father's house. From his father's house. Hey, from inside his father's house. There, his he he got to know how inside his father's house. Papa, hey. this the youth have did their church. We shall see what will become of his dream. Can I pray for someone here? Can Abba. I pray for you? And the name that is above every other name. And when two lions enter, hey. enter town, when two lions enter town, the other canary will give way. And yet, I decree today, if the body that have used them to be their chest, that as long as they are alive, you will not achieve the joy of your children. Today, hey. if I be a man of God, they will they will open their eyes and they shall see your testimony. Amen. They shall hear your testimony. In Jesus name. Man of God, go ahead. Let hey. me give let me give this revelation so that we'll just go. Hey. In the spirit world, <laughs> see, uh, that's I'm a spirit man, so I operate from the spirit world. <laughs> In the spirit world, you use life to represent life, to replace life. Hey. That means somebody have to die for somebody to be alive in the spirit world. You get it now? Now, if somebody dies physically, there's somebody spiritually that is keeping his, himself alive. That's what happened. It's a law in the spirit. For a man to be alive, somebody needs to die. I'm heading somewhere. Just follow me. Now, in the witch's world, or the, the, the demonic world, in order for them to live longer, they have to make sure that souls die so that they live longer. That's why you will see an old man that is still shaking with his walking stick, shaking during the day, but at night he's standing very strong. Why? Because life has been used to replace his strength. Life has been used to give him strength. That means blood has been shed to give him strength. 
Hey. So that is what happened in the spirit world. It's a Child. law in the spirit. Life oh gives life. Oh my God. So life must come for life to be alive. Ah. That's what happened in the spirit world. Jesus. Now, what they do is that because people lack knowledge mm. and people fail to take custody of their territory Jesus. and their dimension that you occupy, they Jesus. cut short the life of people. Ah. And anyone who is involved in cutting short of the life of people, he himself is getting younger. Hey. He himself hey. is getting younger. That's why you see My the old God. man and old woman are still looking stronger in the spiritual. My God. <clears throat> now, this is the same thing. Do oh. you know that there was a king that the children of Israel were fighting them and the man cut off the head of his son and yes. he started to turn against his own people. Yes. Turn against yes. the Israelites. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God himself turned the back because why? Blood was shared by someone. Oh my God. Now, when God understood this in the spirit world, mm. he said, instead of us to die, he now sent somebody to die for us. Hey! <laughs> Jesus. Now, instead of you to die, he now sent someone to come and die, which is his son. Hey. So when his son died, the Bible said, that the devil did not know that the death of Jesus Christ is going to bring life to us. Hey. The Bible said he came to steal, to kill, and to Listen, destroy. To kill and to destroy. He said, Jesus. but I come to give life. There are two coming, one to kill, one to give life. Hey. So when hey. God understood this in the spirit realm, he said, I have to replace it because there are, there are, there are destiny that's mm. supposed to become what is supposed to be in life. There hey. are bankers, lawyers, my God. There are artists, man. There are pastors. If yeah. I did not exchange their life at the death of my soul, something is going to happen to them. Hey, Jesus. So, friends, it is an error if you die. Hey, because somebody has paid the debt for you already. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, when hey, the devil is coming to look for you, man. you are already yeah, a dead man. You can't kill a dead man again. Ah, yeah. You can't kill Lazarus with death because he has died. So what am I trying to say? As you hear the sound of my voice, the Bible says, he that has ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. Everything that constitutes death in your life, in the name of Jesus, death in your business, death in your ministry, death in your health, today, because of the blood that has been paid to Kapilian God of heaven, God I say God. let life come upon you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. There shall be no more death in your life. No more there death no in the name of Jesus. I tell people, this is my slogan. I am undiable. I am undeathable. I am undeathable. Anything hey. you call, I can never die. He if you see that, I die normal, natural. Jesus. I, that is normal. I was Malabia driving Kasa. along Bauchi Road. And the vehicle was somersaulted. I didn't say Jesus. I said, I can never die. Never. In I the was name just, of I Jesus. can never die. Did he turn and stand and sit, stand on his four tires? And I came out alive. I said, I can't die. It is impossible hey, for me to die. Hey, if, if anything happened, I would be the only one that will survive. Hallelujah. Bible says, hey, long life. Hey, I'm not satisfied. Not die. It's not a prayer hey, point. Brakata. It's not a prayer point. It hey, is brakata. my identity. Yes, Unsettable. Fresh, I speak to you today. In the name Anything of Jesus. Anything that stands as death in your life, in the name of Jesus. Chase them out from your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You Amen. are afraid from death. Yes. In the name of Jesus. This is the divine service. Say, man of God, who hold this thing again? Now. <laughs> this thing, eh? Hey, hallelujah. Now, this is what, it, this is, this is my food. Hey, kabayada, dabayada. Thank you so much, man of God. Thank you so much, man of God. Now, 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 you are there. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God! My God! My. God. Uh, let's round up. Let's round before this thing become net vigi. Let's round up now. <laughs> let's round up now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Malia kadaba shadaba. Now I want to. I want to let you know. Tomorrow morning. There will be no prayer mountain. There will be no prayer mountain tomorrow morning. No prayer mountain. So we meet in church on Sunday morning. We meet in church on Sunday morning. We are destroying every power. Say, waging war, breaking, destroying every satanic bewitchment. We're getting deeper. We're getting deeper. And we are going to enter prayers on Sunday. On Sunday. So if you are outside of Winnipeg, 
watch us on YouTube, be with us on YouTube. Pastor Kazim is always with us on YouTube. In fact, last weekend, he came to help us in setting up so many things in the church. So thank you so much, man of God. God bless you. God bless you so much. Now, on uh, and then on Sunday morning too, if you can't join us on YouTube, we are live on Facebook. You know, I understand by most of our brethren on the other side, they told us that face, uh, Facebook is cheaper. So join us also on Facebook. You can join us on Facebook. While you are joining us, be commenting and be telling us where you are joining us from. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you real good in the mighty name of Jesus.